Hey, let's talk about the vertebrae. Okay? By the time we're done with this, we're going to go over with some pictures of the cervical vertebrae. There's seven of those. The 12 thoracic vertebrae. And you can see the two of the lumina are here, along with the remaining, remaining three, the sacral bone, or sacrum, and the coccyx bone. All right, so that's what we're going to talk about. The vertebral column and the bone markings, brought to you by Curious Brainland. So let's look over here, and I'm going to refer to another um, software that kind of gives you some good ideas about this. So the vertebral column, what exactly is it? First, let's go ahead and say, we call it the spine. There are 24 vertebrae, and a fused sacrum and a fused coccyx bone. All right. Weight bearing, support, protection of the spinal cord, that's the main function, the, the functional anatomy, structure and function, central tenant of biology. So let's go look over here. Um, so with the cervical region, there are seven vertebrae. The thoracic, there's 12, five lumbar, and five fused, but we usually say one sacral bone, or we'll say one coccyx bone, and this is three to five. There's some variation within our species with that. Okay, so you'll see the curvature here the seven, we call say it's C1 through C7, uh, T1 through T12, L1 through L5. If anyone has any back issues, it's usually around three or four where having, they might be having some trouble. Okay, so basic anatomy of a typical vertebrae, there's going to be the body that's going to bear the weight, and then in between that is intervertebral disc. That is fibrocartilage. Okay. Now, there's vertical arches, uh, there's a foramina, that's a hole, that's going to be where the spinal cord is going to run through. So one of them has uh, another foramen, and we'll talk about that in a second. The vertebral canal, okay, and let's talk about the walls, pedicles, and lamina. And we also need to get a frame of reference, as we always do with anatomy. Uh, the transverse process is going to project laterally and dorsal laterally from the pedicles. Hmm, what is it? Laterally? So that's going out. Dorsal laterally from the pedicles means it's going to be towards the um, posterior side. Okay, here's something, articular process or articular facets. Right? And then you have um, intervertebral foramina. That's space in between when they touch. That's where the spinal cords will pop out. So let's look at a typical one. So that's, over oh, here it said uh, dorsal laterally. Hmm. So the transverse process is running lateral. Here's your midline. Running lateral and from the spinous process, which is dorsal. The dorsal, that's kind of like a straight line. So dorsal lateral means it's pushing towards the dorsal side. Here's anterior, posterior. Remember, posterior is also dorsal. OK. Um, this is that vertebral frame where your spinal cords are going to go through. You have superior articular facets. This is going to be an attachment point. Think about articular, articulation, to articulate one bone with another bone. You have the pedicle, and let's talk about the difference between the three. And I have this software, which I'll change views in a second, but let's add some tags here. So you'll see we've got different structures. Um, let me add, come over here, touch here. This is going to be your cervical, your thoracic curvature. And your and your uh, lumbar curvature. You notice the curvature. And so um, here's here's an anterior view, posterior view, and a lateral view. You wouldn't need a medial unless you did a section right half, but there's no really no reason to do that. So let's look at cervical vertebrae. One difference between cervical vertebrae and the others is the transverse process has a foramen. And that foramen is called the transverse foramen. This is where blood vessels go up and down. I'll show you that on the models with my other video, the companion video to this. Okay. Um, one thing we should point out um, about transverse, you'll notice transverse process is in all three of these, but the transverse process here has a, an attachment point to the ribs. So the thoracic vertebrae have an attachment point to the ribs. They're, they're actually, the rib kind of is going to, it's going to be right here. Oops, let me try and change the color here. There's my writer here. 
All right, so this right here is where a rib is going to go. So it's going to curve out, and I'm doing a really bad drawing of that. So imagine, so there's a part where the rib goes here, and then imagine the rib going over to the front. So that can, of course, anterior. So let's. All right, so let's see what else do we want to know here. This is the three. So this is one of the um, cervical ones. This is one of the thoracic, and this is one of the. Um, and you're going to see how this interacts. So this is these two are both cervical. This is um, actually this is all cervical. I'm sorry. Now we look at the angle. The spinous process is kind of uh, pointing at a downward angle, but you see that really with the thoracic. So let's go back up. Let's go down to here and look at, say, the thoracic now. If we go back up to this one, this is a good one to look at. It shows all three. Um, so the transverse process has to articulate with ribs. It, there's no hole like this um, cervical, and, but then the spinous process is going to be curved. And see this downward curve there? And this is actually showing you some cervical. Also, I'm jumping around on the PowerPoint here. Um, now, this is transverse, transverse process, transverse process. This is thoracic, and then over here is going to be the spine. One way to look at it is compare these two. This kind of this kind of looks like a giraffe, and this looks like a moose, if that helps. The spinous process that kind of points down, that there's your transverse process, right? And you have these different articular surfaces. All right, and let's see, let's look at this. Here's our sacrum, and it has a superior articular surface. Imagine that last lumbar, L5, clicking in here, all right? And then the, so this is not, we're not going to spend as much time on this as the others. All right, so brought to you by Gears Marineland. And before I close, I want to go back and just give you a couple different angles from here. So this is cervical vertebrae. Let's add in some, the unique thing that separates it is the um, transverse foramen. And as you can see, this is where you're going to have key arteries um, that are going to go up the spinal cord, all right? And I see this is your articular surface, okay? Superior articular surface, all right? You can see it from here as well. There's an inferior one. So what this would, if there's a, a cervical bone that's going to go on top here, it would attach here. But then the bottom one is going to, this is the cervical one that would attach to the one up below it. Let's look at the first two, C1 and C2. C1 is called the atlas, all right? And there's your transverse foramen. This is the very first one that articulates with the skull, all right? And you got the different processes here, the posterior arch, here's your foramen, it's where the spinal cord is, this is where the blood vessels are gonna be going through, and this is your articular surface. Now let's look at C2. C2 has this special process that helps the hinge of the cervical vertebrae, right? And it's called the dens, right? There's your superior articular surface. Again, here's your transverse foramen. You only see that in cervical. And there we go. So let's let's look at. I'm not going to look at all the rest of them. Let's look at say thoracic. Just get a quick look at that thoracic. Again, there's your your giraffe shape. Right? There's the body. And what the key thing about this is this superior articular thoracic um, vertebrae, this superior facet, and then there's a part over here. The transverse process has a articular surface with the ridge, which is, which is not labeled here. Right? Just you know, just never seen lamina and pedicle. Notice pedicle is touching the body. Lamina is the kind of curve in between transverse and spinous process. This downward arch is a key thing. And Let's look at lumbar. Oh, wrong one. Lumbar. Here's your. There's your moose in the lumbar. And again, it's got a thicker body to support or the lower back weight. So. All right. And last but not least, you've got some labels here. You've got the ala part, uh, the ala of the sacrum, or ala of the sacrum. Let's see what they say. Ala of sacrum. Okay. You got the articular surface. L5 would 
attach here. All right, and the spinal cord is going to run. This is that foramen that's going from all the way up to C1 down to here. Okay, now I think that's pretty much it. Let's go back to here. All right, so glad you bike here, Spring Man. So that's a quick little run through of your vertebrae. And now I'm going to do a follow up video that actually, if you look behind me, you'll see these. I'm going to do a video with those that goes over the um, blood vessels and things like that. And that you can see on that transverse. Uh, foramen, um, and we'll look at some other aspects of the vertebrae.